Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today we're going to create, uh, you know, names with uh, letter forms basically out of hearts. So uh, this basically got inspired from Typeful, another amazing uh, designer from Instagram who is doing these kind of forms. So he was doing it with circles and I said, man, like, uh, let's push it to the next level. Let's do it with hearts. So uh, yeah. Uh, before we jump in, uh, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated. All right, so first thing we're going to do is create uh, the heart. As you can see, I made some multiple stuff out of hearts. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a heart. You're going to need the fill color and we're going to paint it black because we're going to make a black heart. Why not? And we're going to select from here the rounded rectangle tool and uh yeah we're gonna do some form like this so don't go until it's gonna look like square so don't go until it gets squared you know this one is i think yeah this this is a straight line also here in that in this area which is not good i'm gonna show you in a second so this is straight it's already not good so i'm gonna delete that and uh, create a new one i'm gonna zoom in and yeah this should be it okay we have the first one and from here i'm gonna press shift and rotate it to the right and i'm gonna go here to the reflect tool i'm gonna double click on the reflect tool you can double uh, long select and you, you're gonna find it here double click on it and click on vertical and click on copy select both press shift plus m or you can select the shape builder tool Press and hold Alt so you can cut these forms out and just cut these forms out. So this is how you got the heart. <clears throat> As you can see, you can do multiple stuff with it. You can go and brainstorm with this thing. I'm going to actually, I'm going to unite them with this. So the inner line is going to disappear. Just click Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to the Windows and select Pathfinder. So it's going to appear like that. From here, we're going to add another stroke, a white stroke, a white stroke. You want to add a white stroke. Uh, 0 0.25 is pretty good. I, actually, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, um, I'm going to create a new copy. I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag the heart, heart, press Shift also so you can isolate the heart so this way it doesn't move. Good. Select both, um, go to objects, blend and make. As you can see, it added some hearts. We're going to multiply, multiply the hearts by double click on this blend tool, double V kind of option here. Click previews, click uh, specify steps and increase the number of the hearts. Of the hearts. Okay, something like that. I think uh, I'm gonna bring down the stroke because it uh, it looks a little bit um, too much. Actually, I don't need to bring it down. I'm gonna increase the whole thing, something around here. Yeah, this is all right. And from here, we got the first thing. We got the hearts, and we're gonna create. Uh, you can create your own letter, like your own ish initial letter. I'm going to create the letter R because my name is Rob. So uh, let me see. I'm going to switch it to stroke. I'm going to delete the fill. So I'm going to remain on the stroke. I'm going to select the pen tool from here. I'm going to draw quickly a letter, the R letter. You can, of course, you can move the handles like this by pressing and holding the Alt, so you can move the handles separately. Never forget that. And here we go. It's easy. It should be pretty easy. Okay. It's a distorted R letter, but it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is select them both and go to the objects, go to blend 
and go to replace spine. <laughs> Look at that. It's a bubbly heart R letter. So what we want to do is like increase the number of the hearts. So it's, uh, it's going to look more consistent. We're going to double click on the blend tool option here. Click previews and just increase the heart number. The number of the hearts, sorry. So it's going to be something around this number, 110 or something. I don't know. Uh, you can uh, modify still the um, letter R, what you created, you know, the anchor points and uh, by selecting the direct selection tool and you just click on the anchor points which you want to modify and you just drag the handles. I want to modify like this, you know, and you just can adjust however you want however your hearts want it. From here, I want to increase this number and to get smaller until this, you know, so it's like more in perspective. So I'm going to double click on this heart. When you do double click, you can see I can select this shape separately. You can see it's going to appear here, a window kind of thing with uh, multiple layer options. So uh, basically what this does is I can like modify separately these hearts because if I'm not in this option basically I can't do that everything is combined together so I want to you know do adjustments on this heart only separately so I'm going to double click on it and now I can do that and I'm going to press shift plus alt and hold it until I'm going to make it bigger okay I'm thinking on something to, um, ah, but I can't do that. Okay. No worries. What if I, ah, no, I can do it. So I can only modify this heart or this heart right here, but it's all right. I mean, okay. It should be something like that. Okay, so we have uh, the letter made out of uh, hearts. So now you can see and understand how it's made, basically. Uh, yeah, this is it. Um, hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And have a great day. Bye-bye.